Hello students, good morning everyone. Today we are going to study a new lesson in geography that is lesson number 6 and the last lesson human resource. Here we are going to study first what is human resource. You know that human resource means the people who are healthy, educated and motivated. It makes the people human resource. As it is like every resource, people are also human resource or people are also, we say, resource. And these resources or human resource is distributed or it is not distributed equally over the world. It, it is deferred or it is uh, scattered according to the, in their educational level, age and gender. So, human resource, some places we could see uh, many people who are educated, healthy uh, and in number of population. Somewhere we could see less number of people. So, it is scattered or it is not equally distributed over the world. Next point we have to study that is distribution of population. What do you mean by distribution of population? Distribution of population means the way in which people are spread across the earth's surface. So, the people are spread across the earth's surface in different way. We can see that more than 90% of the world's population live in about 30% of the land surface. Means on land surface, people are more, uh, people are living more. The distribution of population in the world is extremely uneven. It is not equal. And some areas we could see crowded areas. For example, South and Southeast Asia, Europe and Northeastern and North America. These areas are crowded areas where people are more. Some of the areas are sparsely populated areas or less populated areas. The areas which are high altitudes, deserts, high mountain areas, equatorial forest, these all areas are less populated. Means heighted places, deserts, high mountain areas, equatorial forest, these are less populated. People don't want to settle or settle permanently in these areas. That is why it is sparsely populated. Sparsely populated means less populated areas. So, distribution of population is different or it is not une it is not even. It is uneven. Some areas are crowded. Some areas are less populated. Now, we have to study what is the density of population. The density of population here means it is the number of people living in a unit area of the earth's surface. Number of people living in a unit area of the earth's surface. It is normally expressed in as per the square kilometer. So, the density of population is expressed in as per the square kilometer. And uh, we could see next the some areas we could see densely populated, some areas which we can see less pop, less densely populated. Here we are going to study what are the factors which affect the distribution of population. Factors which affect the distribution of population. Means some areas are densely populated, some areas are less populated, less densely populated. What are those factors which lead to the, these differences in density of population? It is divided into two important factors. One is known as geographical factors. Another one is known as social, cultural and economic factors. Geographical factors consist of the first one, topography. Topography here means the uh, 
area of the land or the uh, pattern of the land people always prefer to live on the plains rather than plateaus mountains etc because plains which give more chance or more possibilities for farming and manufacturing and other service activities so plains are comfortable for the people to live for example we could see ganga brahmaputra plains which are most densely populated and the areas or the um, himalayan mountain ranges people are less or it is less populated because himalayan mountain ranges or himalayan himalayas people don't prefer to settle and since it is difficult to cultivate it is difficult to um, live in these high tech places but plains it is comfortable for the people to live that is why topography is one of the important factor which which is included in the geographical factors second geographical factors we can say climate climate means people usually avoid the places which are extreme climate for example extreme hot extreme cold such places people avoid desert areas polar areas these areas people are um, people don't live or people uh, don't prefer to live but the areas which are which gives moderate climate which are near the sea coast or which uh, which has a subtropical uh, climate the people prefer to live third important geographical factor it is known as soil soil as we discuss we can see soil which is very fertile people prefer to live in that places the places which have fertile soil people prefer to live because it is suitable for agriculture fertile plains as we have discussed earlier ganga brahmaputra plains which is the most fertile in india and it is most densely populated areas so this is one of the geographical factor which the people prefer to settle fourth important factor that is availability of water as we know that water is one of the essential thing for, that we need or basic um, thing to live so people prefer to live in areas where they get fresh water and it could be easily available but people uh, don't like or people there is less chance for areas which are uh, which people settle that is uh, near to the in the island island places okay areas which are lack of water desert these all places people don't prefer because availability of water is less availability of fresh water is less so areas which are uh, more which have more um, possibility or which have more abundant fresh water people prefer to settle there the river valleys of the world are densely populated or thickly populated because the river valleys give them fresh water next important factor in geographical factor that is minerals minerals we discuss areas which have mineral deposits are more populated places which are having deposits of minerals for example south africa mines of diamond mines are there and uh, oil wells or oil uh, presence of oil in middle east countries people prefer because it give them chance for employment opportunities and uh, use the minerals so people prefer to live there these are the geographical factors so there are five factors which we put together in the geographical factors which are topography climate soil 
water minerals okay next important factor next important factor which affect the distribution of population is social cultural and economic factors how can we explain these factors how it affect the distribution of population let us discuss the first point that is social factor social factor in the sense areas of better housing education and health facilities are available such areas uh, people prefer to live so areas of better housing health education all these factors are available such areas people prefer to live for example metropolitan cities towns and cities we could see rather than the forest areas towns and cities people are uh, set uh, people uh, try to or people like to live next important factor that is cultural factor cultural factor means places which are which have more importance of religious um, religion for example religious places like temples mosque churches etc for that it is famous such areas which affect the distribution of population same way we can see cultural factors some areas where uh, we can see uh, means religious cultural factors which affect the settlement of pop, uh, people varanasi jerusalem vatican city such places are more people are uh, people like to prefer because it give them religious importance cultural significance etc third important factor as we discuss economic factor economic factor means areas which provide employment opportunities for example industrial areas areas which have more industries which give employment opportunities for the people such areas are thickly populated or it affect the distribution of population in mumbai which has lot of industries people from around india all around india they come and settle in mumbai because it has many industries many uh, opportunities for employment so people prefer to settle same way delhi the people prefer to settle noida another place where people are more so such bangalore another electronic city of india where people settle more because it has more chances for giving employment opportunities so these are the social cultural and economic factors so today we have studied what is human resource next we have studied about the distribution of population and next we have studied about the factors which affect the distribution of population